guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is 3rd of April and my husband decided to make a Filipino dish for our dinner. We're gonna see how he make it and see how it goes. Actually, he wants to make a caldereta, but it's gonna be a big experiment because he, instead of meat, he wants to use a fish. So see how it goes. wanted to put as well a pineapple and then bell pepper, a carrot, and some potato. And then he's going to use this one as the seasoning. Here is the fish that he's going to use. It's a, what kind of fish is Malco? Cod. It's a cod fish. So we'll see how it, how it turns like because I never have a calderita before which is you're going to use the fish. So that's my chef for tonight. I can't wait to see how it will taste like. Okay, so he started making it now. So it's only spraying. He used to spray one. Right, onion first. Half a cup of these. What do you reckon? Yeah, it's really, it's really up to you. What would you like today? Uh, and I can eat the rest. You need to let it cook the vegetable for a while. Yep. Okay. So you can get back to me then. All right. Okay. I will see you later in a few minutes. Yeah. Now he's making the rice. So he's going to put the seasoning now and we're using mamacita. How it smells like? Yeah, it's good. Nice smell. Mm hmm. It's a nice smell. Yeah. Especially for a European cooking Filipino food. <laughs> Hopefully, it tastes good. To be fair, it is straight from a packet, though, isn't it? I'm just going to lay the fish across the top and cook, let it cook slowly. So these are pieces of cord. Exciting! I'm really excited Aww. how it turns like. Can't wait to taste this. A few inches later. Okay, so this is it. Mauna ni ayang final na giluto. 
So, tanaw na to kung sa kalami. So, we'll see. That's the fresh colorada. So, okay, Marco. And tell me how it tastes like. Colorada, yeah? Before? Me? Yeah? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then, t tell me then. Compare which one you like better. So, is it okay? Yeah. So that was it. Well, he enjoyed it. So, try to taste how it tastes like. Hmm. Honest opinion. It's not too bad. I would have it again. Did I pass as a Filipino chef then? Mm, yeah, sort of. <laughs> tastes nice. Tomorrow. Hey guys. Good morning and welcome back to my YouTube channel. And today is the 4th of April while my two boys is upstairs playing. I'm going to make a champarado for our breakfast. So see you later. This is it. This is the champarado, or as my husband called this, it's a chocolate rice. Umana siya og kaon. Nag-una siya og kaon sa iyong breakfast. Okay, nagbantay ko sa bata. Now it's my turn to have my breakfast. Moments later. So I'm just finished having my breakfast. I'm just finishing my coffee right now. Yeah, that was so good. I enjoyed it. Having my champarado. It's one of the favorite foods food to eat of my husband. Sometimes he's really going to request with it. Call it a rice chocolate as I said. We are planning today to go out to do some groceries. We need some foods now. We don't have any more stock in the house. I know we are home quarantine at the moment but I have to go and get some foods. But Kay natulog pa man niya ako ang anak. Pakimama ka ayun ni. Eh. Maghuwat sa amin na mamata ni siya. Kay it's his birthday as well today. So as soon as mamata na siya at makapagbat na siya, that's the time na makagawas me and to do our groceries. Yeah, I'll show you later how it looks like outside as we are home quarantined here. I think it's been like probably two weeks now that we've been home quarantine we've been locked down before they started like being just like a home quarantine not really totally locked down but people are not listening and not cooperating of what the government said here so the government uh the past few weeks decide to have the lockdown which is we're allowed to go out still by doing some exercise and um, going to the doctor to get some like medicines here and also to do the groceries. Only really essential things we are allowed to go out. Ang ilahat diri yung patakaran, if mugawas ka, and dili essential ang imuhang ibuhat sa gawas, is na asilay penalty, which is 60 pounds. And I think roughly it might be between 5,000 pesos probably I don't know how much is the pounds right now but I think it's more 5,000 to 8,000 probably I'm gonna be like na dili essential ang gibuhat so later I'll show you around kung unsa ang itsura and how they do the shell distancing here as well in times na towards sa grocery Hi guys! So earlier, as I said, na mag-grocery may pero ang amo anak, after niya ba, natulog and to kaysa nakamata. So karoon pa lang siya ni mata. So they decide na lang me na to have a walk para makapag-exercise po. Nag-word na git kami sa balay sa home quarantine. So, mo na nag-walking na lang ni so mauni karon ang view sa gawas as in mingaw dyo kayo guys there you go so, um, wala pa sa 
main road. The moment na apa mi sa um, small village. Sdra ako magama. So yeah, that's that's the main road there. So you can see it's really quiet. I show you a bit the look of the main road. It might be probably tomorrow or the other day. Um, na mag grocery me, so I'll show you as well about what I said uh, in a supermarket day. So that's the main road. It is really quiet, though this is not really busy for here sa mga sakinan. Yeah, dagan ka pun ka yung mga sakinan ng dagan, pero this is not really as busy as before na nag lockdown. So if makapag grocery mi ugma, I will make a video as well to show you around the supermarket. Okay, that's what I said earlier na kung mugawas ka dari, Unya, makitan ka sa police. Nya, yung gibot sa gawas is not really necessary. Dakpun ka nila and you pay for penalty. So it was 60 pounds, right? So ako siyang give value 2 pounds. Dili di, di, di siya 5,000. Kuan lang siya mga 3,000 ka pin ang mabayaran kung madakpan ka. Dili na wala ka ibuhat na essential sa gawas. So what we're doing is, because we're doing a walking, so acceptable siya diri. I-encourage mo sa nila ang mga tao diri na mag-exercise. Even though nag-lockdown sila, it's one of their responsibility as well to keep themselves say, uh, healthy. You still have to do the social distance, distancing kung mag, ano ka, mag, um, mag-do ka sa mga exercise diri. So wala sa kayo tao, which is, well, kami, we choose to walk na dili siya busy o ka nang wala dito tao ba na mingaw gidang area para safe for us kay amo biyang daladala among anak na only 6 weeks old. So, we have to keep ourselves safe sa as well. So, this is it guys. So, I might see you for tomorrow to my next video with a, to show you around the supermarket here how it looks like. Right, see ya. Bye. Next. Hi guys, today is 7th of April and that's another day of a home quarantine. We're going to do the garden. So right now, my two boys, my husband and my son, is in the garden at the moment. We're going to the garden. I need to tidy up first inside the house. So, I can tidy up first. I can Weather outside the sun, so at least makapagay hay ko sa gawas. I'll show you around kung sa akong buhato ang routine day. So this is it. And um, before ko mo ato sa garden para magtabang sa akong husband for gardening, I need to do the dishes first. And then, nang laba na pod ko, makawashing na. So just wait ko na pa second cycle. So tidy up a wee bit lang sa kitchen. Yeah, nagluto na din ko for lunch. So kame si ang um, balay. I needed to do the folding of the clothes. Oh my god. Like I need my mama Aww. here. It's really hard to be honest. Um, living abroad without your parents. And especially we have a little one. So sweat yung makatapang na ako. As in, akong two arms, sakit na kaayo kay mama's boy kayong bata. So, there you are. There's the garden there. And, na akong mag -ama, if you could see it. They're here. Well, how's, how is? Is he sleeping? Is he sleeping? Huh? Did he never cry? No. I show you the baby. So, we're planning to put some grasses here. So before na ani siya murag sa gitawa gano eh basta na siya gi na siya base din ha gitang tang niya kay di siya ganahan sa itsura so amo mo palito mi og grass din na para ibutang here as well um yeah this part this part is nakabutang na siya og seed para mo grow ang grass so hopefully mag work siya in this part, sa iyang gi-workout, buhatan ako o flower beds. 
flower beds, no? Yep. Do you call that? Yeah, flower beds. So, the, after na ko og hugas og plato og laba, tabangan na ko siya. So, here's our baby nag sunbathing. <laughs> tulog di ay. Natulog. Nag covers mata. Hello, baby. Yeah. Tulog pa. Ganahan ka siya dari sa iyang prom as in settled siya. So, mas maayo kung mong gawas na yung dala sa prom. Supermarket now, but we have to wait in the long queue. So, this is the way they're doing for their social distance. So, I'll show you the queue. That's the queue of their social distance to get in. Can you hold this mouth, please? To get in into the, into the supermarket. So, it's really a long queue. If you could see it down over there. So it will take time for us to get it into the supermarket and they're really really strict here like see there's people here looking after controlling the people for the social distance to make sure that we, they're really following so this is it the life of the quarantine here in Harlem I'll talk to you later when we get in into the supermarket bye bye hi again so we're here now inside the supermarket so I'll show you what's the happening here in the supermarket this is it inside the supermarket and there's really no social distance here inside the supermarket no nothing no yeah. so they put a yellow mark down in the floor. You see it? Oh. Oh, lots of people here are not really following. So they only just go and go and go and get whatever to need it. It's really not. So inside the supermarket, there is really no happening a social distance here. Which is not pretty good when you look up there. See how crowded is this? It's not too much crowd, but there's still no social distance happening. Hi guys! So earlier, nakagawas kid me nakapag grocery kid me. It's so sad kay um, sa gawas palang sa supermarket na sila giko ang gigi follow na social distancing. Pero inig sud sa supermarket, makadismaya kay dili sila nag-follow man sa social distance, even though na gipang butangan nila o yellow line ang kada cubicle kung asa kadapit mag-grocery gihapon ma-follow kay na ang ibang tao na mudiretso diretso lang na mukuha sa ilahang gusto na palito nito sa grocery so wala dyan social distancing right now, kinag-crave man ko og saging so I have a saging here 
is it? Yeah. And also, nakapalit po ko o ginamos sa supermarket. Pero sa una pa nina, wala pa yung COVID ha. Na, see? So, lahi siya o glass ha. Did you parihaan ng di ka gluto niya ka on the So, mas lami. Pero kani, at least kani, makawala sa pag-crave sa saging na with ginamos. Hmm. So, yeah. Um, it takes us like siguro 30 to 40 minutes na nag-line ni sa gawas sa groserihan o sa amin nakasulod. Yeah, quite basic. Yeah, po dito. Uh, abin na nakontrol nila ang mga tao sa sulod sa grocery pero dili man, dili siya safe kay dili lagi nag-follow ang mga tao sa social distancing sa kuya o gaya po siya. So never again, akong hasba ni Ana na dili na ni mo balik o grocery na mukuyog miniya sa kami duha sa iya, sa kami duha sa iyang anak kay dili lagi safe para namang duha the next time na lang among buhaton is i-pick up na lang namo so mag-order and then to pick up at least kanang pick up dili siya dugay ba dili parehatong mag-order ka online it takes 3 weeks ang pick up kay makuha man dayon siya so yeah this is it don't forget to subscribe and share and like this video Ah. <laughs> I think that's a bit of proof. Yes, isn't it? No, it's not. It's a daddy. Yeah. 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 What are you thinking? Huh? Yes. All the signs are that help will be needed for many years. Yes.